okay, 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 okay. Oh my gosh. Here we go. We're doing this. We're doing this. Are you, are you excited? Oh. We, we back. back. We, we back, back like we never left. left it. Wow. This is kind of crazy because... Twenty-two. That's when we're starting. It's Time 11, is 11, 22 p.m. And that's our number. And that is the exact time where we're uh, launching our YouTube channel at eleven twenty-two. Relaunch. Ready? Ready. We back. We back. Oh, we back. We all rusty, but we all dust the rust off. Hey. Man, we've been in vertical video world for so long. We had TikTok world, TikTok fan. We love you. Welcome to horizontal life. We are back to the horizontal life. We're still gonna do vertical life, but we yeah. are. Back into the world. So, shall we? Hi, Hi friend. friend! We are so, so happy you are here. I'm Amber J. And I'm Charlie. It's nice to meet you and it's nice to see you again. Thank you for joining us. We're so happy to have you here. Yes, we are so excited because we have a very, very special announcement. Major alert! Yes, and we are also back to the YouTube world. We really just focus in on vertical video. So if you are from our TikTok fam, welcome! Welcome, wholesome family, as we like to call you, TikTok yes. fam. We're so excited that you're here. You joined us. We miss you, YouTube. What's up, YouTube? What's up, everybody? Yes. So we thought we need to get back to YouTube to create longer form content. I'm personally happy about that because I'm the long form one cool. of our relationship. I love short form. <laughs> but you know, you can't get as deep into. Well, you can get deep. Right. This is like the longer than a minute content. And we've been encouraged time and time again and, and received confirmation. Hey, you know, are you guys on YouTube? You guys should be on YouTube. Let's just go full force with it. And so yeah. please keep us accountable. If there hasn't been a video posted, hit us up and be like, where's it at? No. Like, be our accountability partner. Ping, ping us on Instagram, comment on TikTok. Amber J, Charlie, where is the YouTube video? We need that account. We do. Well, we are excited to be back and to share this video. Ah! Are you ready for this ready? announcement? Thank you for joining us in I this announcement. I think you're ready. I feel like this is that Space Jam move, right? We're walking out of the tunnel. I'm about to walk out of the tunnel. I'm ready. I'm ready, baby. You got your jersey on? You got your game face on? All right. Here we go. Here we go. Drum roll, please. We, we are moving to... We traveled to Europe for a one year wedding anniversary. Mind you, we got married on 11 11 17. Mm -hmm. ah. We've been married for more than three years. So, our first year wedding anniversary, we traveled to Europe, went to several countries, visited it, loved it. And then we went back a couple months later because we had flight credit, right? Yeah. So, we're like, we need to use this flight credit. Mm -hmm. This was what year? 2018. 2019. Yes, so two years ago, mm -hmm. we visited Portugal and Morocco. And we okay. loved Portugal because yes. people there were so kind, so genuine. There was one time we were walking in Porto and there were people walking down the street, locking arms and singing and dancing, like five people. It was a Disney movie moment. I couldn't believe my eyes. Man, I love the uh, the culture. I love how when we were walking and we saw the buildings, you described it as the San Francisco of Europe because you're right near the coast, which we love visiting different churches and checking out obviously different coffee scenes and the coffee culture is dope there. And we you know checked out this church called Surf Church. It was incredible worshiping God in a uh, completely different country in a different language, but yes, yeah, they're worshiping the same God. Worship to ocean. Yeah. It was half in English, half in Portuguese. Yeah. We couldn't quite understand it, but we were going along trying to pronounce the word. 
it was wonderful and you know just being able to to have that hybrid of like the ocean coast life how they recognize and honor rest and the importance of that in our country which god bless america we're so grateful to be americans a lot of it is just on the go on your phone all the time fast paced where that culture in portugal is all about family taking time to appreciate moments you know you don't have to up and run to the next thing but the value of that and that's something we really both resonate with because we are all about building relationships and sometimes you know we're a little bit later than most but that's because we are caught up in a, in a conversation with somebody and it leads to another conversation and it leads to a prayer love that and I feel like over there there's just so much of that and no country is perfect but we're excited to experience different cultures yes and I always dream about doing missions abroad Charlie has done missions abroad which is incredible because he talks about how life-changing it was and I've dreamt about it since I was in middle school mm -hmm. and so goals we have for moving internationally one is to do missions abroad mm -hmm. to serve God to build his kingdom and to give be open and available and obedient to God to go along with that love yeah. you know doing that mission work that impacted my life. The summer of 2012, going overseas, the athletes all, all over the world, it's like literally how can you come together and form a team unit and serve and with language barriers. Going from Italy to Romania and serving the, the gypsy community there and the trash dump to London, serving in the ghetto of London, basketball, and then being asked to be the head dance coach. I don't even coach dance, but that guy used that as a faith building journey for me and just doing all of these team building activities in the outbounds of Italy. Through all that, God showed me who he really is. I remember writing down the dreams in the Alps Mountains in Italy, like pursue the dreams full of force. And now I get to pursue these dreams with my lovely wife this summer. We did a, a, a training exercise, bringing an injured teammate up the Alps Mountains in Italy. We came back, our feet were stanky. It was, it was crazy. But yet we, uh, we got the water basins out, we washed each other's feet, which showed an incredible depiction of what Christ's love was and is. And I knew from that moment on, I wanted to wash my future wife's feet, whoever that future wife would be, the lovely Amber J. And so that's what we did in our ceremony. And just as a depiction of like, that's what love is, is we mutually serve one another as Christ. And that's the only way marriage can work. The second goal is to reach some financial goals to save up and build and grow together. Now it's time to reflect on our time in Arizona. We did long distance, dating and engaged. I'm from LA County, Charlie's from Michigan. So Arizona was a place where we closed the distance gap. Yeah, though, it's crazy how we got here. So I moved from my job in Michigan, in Northern Michigan to LA, packed my bags, and then after that, you know, a couple months later, guys like go to Arkansas. I moved to Arkansas <laughs> as a sports producer anchor. And, um, of all places. Of all places, Little Rock, man. What was a Little Rock compared to his big plans for us? If we just build that foundation, the solid rock, and we stand on all the ground, and we said we knew our foundation was on the rock, Jesus Christ. And so after my job in Arkansas, I left that job, went to LA, um, got a job at Clippers, and she had an incredible job at Ipsy and she had a job at BuzzFeed, and so I was like, LA or bus, man, we're going, we're going for this. The day before our wedding, get a call, a job offer. I got a job offer to be a, a national multimedia reporter here for a national news station, and she, Amber J, was like, you know, you'd be stupid not to take this job. Because I don't know if I said the word stupid, but it's just like, you can't pass up an opportunity like this. This is amazing, mm -hmm. and this will get you closer to your goal to being in sports broadcast. Yes. Like, this is your it. Like mm -hmm. doing news at a company and then you can just move on to sports after. That intuition she had showed me that, I mean, this is a, my Proverbs 31 woman, that she would have that type of support. And so this call was literally two hours before our dress rehearsal, guys. Two hours. And so we broke the news to our, <laughs> all pun intended, we broke the news to our family. And I remember my mom in the dress rehearsal speech was like, they're going to Arizona. That was one of the opportunities, Phoenix. So I remember saying in the interview, Phoenix is close to LA, but this was all God he God provided. Yes, they could have placed him in four other different states. There was five states. And it was the first time having somebody located in Phoenix specifically. Which is amazing, because your girl can't do snow. 
So thank God we didn't end up in a snowy state. Yeah, packed our bags after our honeymoon, left in her job, thank God I let her work remote. And this job I had was remote, so we knew about this remote working life, working from coffee shops, traveling everywhere, opening our laptop, working from anywhere. Yeah, this is like 2017. That's how we got to Arizona, and we love it. We love it. This is a place where we close the distance gap. The fact that God blesses with Arizona has been a huge blessing. Yeah. We love desert city living. Lessons and growth. growth. In Arizona, wow, there have been so many. Let me tell you, <laughs> the first year of marriage was, it was tough. Honestly, because to keep we, it real. Yeah, because well, I mean, we can go into this. We were both working remotely, traveling back and forth. Mm -hmm. Charlie was flying all over the country, and I was flying back and forth to LA. It was basically like doing distance again. It was, yes, it was like, <laughs> we lived, we had a place to go home. That was our home base, but we still crazy, were doing yeah. long distance. There was just so much growth as well, lessons and wins. Uh -huh. I'm very proud of us. We've made a lot of progress. It's normal. It's normal to experience things that are gonna grow and stretch you in a marriage. And we definitely were these first three years in Arizona, but I wouldn't change a thing. 100%. As we reflect on our time in Arizona, we cannot thank God enough for the community we built here. We came without a community. We didn't know a single person. We didn't have any family no. here. <laughs> but now we're leaving. Yeah, and so we checked out different churches and that's obviously a great place to find community. And we went to a great couple churches at first and joined a small group here, joined a small group there, met some good people and we were just looking for a place though that had people in similar seasons that we were in as a married couple in our generation and in that season where we don't have kids yet. You we're know. not in college. Right. Or we're not single. <laughs> so yeah. it's kind of the weird in between where we're married but we're still kind of young but we're not that young because we were in our mid-20s and now we're like in our late. 20s. Yes. It's just interesting because sometimes people in the mid to like 20s range, maybe they're single, which there's nothing wrong with that, but it's just a different season. Yeah. And then there's other people in their mid to late 20s, millennials that already have kids. So we are right in between. <laughs> Yeah, right in between and you know, we just wanted to find a community that, that would be in similar seasons that we're in right now and we couldn't find that. So this guy at our church approached us and we're like, you guys now live in downtown Phoenix, you guys should totally start a group. And so we prayed about it. The opportunity presented itself to be small group leaders in January of 2019. We launched it, dedicated it to God and we didn't know who would show up, but we met in this very sports lounge in our apartment yeah. complex and love Amber J, this girl, if you came to our small group, like she decked it out, man. With she wanted to make sure that it was excellent. She is the Michael Jordan of women, so anything she does exuberates excellence. And so our whole thing is we want to be like the early church of Acts, which all that is like you know breaking bread together or breaking pizza, right? And, and coming <laughs> together to eat together first before getting into the word or getting into the study. It's not a gathering without food. Plus, I grew up going to Bible study where we always had a spread. Well, I wanted to implement it in our own group. Hey, come on, it's not fun without food. Right. <laughs> Plus, I feel like it kind of loosens people up and people get to have conversation beforehand. We had Mediterranean night. Yes. Pizza night, taco night. Pizza night, night taco night. Japanese night. Fusion. Korean, Mexican fusion. Woo! Filipino food. Childhood favorites. Childhood where we favorites. brought that lumpia. And everybody loved the lumpia. We yes. got to share our Filipino culture with yes. them. And we're so grateful that people in the group are willing to potluck yeah. and bring and help. And so we're very bad at asking for help just because our personality, we don't want to burden others. Yeah. But the fact that people were so kind and willing to take time out of their busy lives to participate in the potluck, to show up, because just the fact that they took time on a weeknight, we are eternally grateful. Because we know how hard it is to balance work and life. So the fact that they dedicated that, that time to us, we yeah, absolutely. We are eternally grateful for every single person a part of our group. We will forever treasure them for the genuine love, 
their care, their supportive words, their supportive actions. Every single person. Roll the clips. Roll the clips. See these beautiful souls. <laughs> We just recognize and appreciate every single one of them. Arizona is the place. <laughs> Hello, Sing. Real quickly, too, that another community we established is neighbors, too. We have really good friends that came about that were neighbors right here. They just had a baby. Other neighbors, too, that we ran into and have been and, and just talking to in the hallways and getting to know. You know, we believe full, full heartedly that, you know, love your neighbors as yourself, and we take that literally. You know, shout out to all the neighbors we've met as well and, and the interactions we've had. And you, thank you, neighbors. We're gonna miss you, neighbors, but y'all the realest, man. Arizona's the place where we connect with so many creative artists, visual artists, photographers, business owners, and we are just in awe of the creative people following and fulfilling their dreams and hearts purpose. Yes. So thank you to all the sweet photographers that we met and connected with. You guys inspire us. So all in all, we are going to miss, miss, miss Arizona so much. But we are grateful for every single moment, every single person that has touched our hearts here. All of our friends, our community, the experiences, the job opportunities, the clients, yes. everything. Yes. But this is not a goodbye, it's a... Uh... See you later! Yes! So as we go internationally, who knows? Maybe in the next year? Oh, snap. If the housing market is better. Yes, because the housing market is a little crazy. But like who knows? Yes, yeah. maybe God will lead us back here. But... Yeah. Speaking of the world, Arizona was the place where we built our wholesome family. Yes! TikTok family! What's up, wholesome fam? Digital community! Let's go! You guys are the realest. The realest, man. We love you so much. Yes. We are so, so grateful. We've been praying to be able to have a community, to have a digital family where we can share smiles, share laughter, be able to encourage you, to love on you. And the fact that this is a state where God made it happen, and the fact that you are here watching this video. You. We are eternally grateful. Yes. So we're excited to take you guys on to our next journey. <laughs> Thank you for sticking along with us. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you for your support, for the comments, for the likes, yes. for just being here, for your love, because we love you. And we are here for you too. We love you, we're here for you. And as you know, like we're just trying to live our lives as best as we know how for Christ every day and so yeah thank you for being a wholesome fan and you know wanting content that is wholesome it is fun yeah we're just really silly fun loving <laughs> people so thank you for loving us for who we are yes you know? thank you for loving us through our silly antics all the laughing thank you thank you for yeah. being here it means a lot it, yeah. it means like more than you'll ever know we've been praying for you yes arizona is where our dream many dreams so you're a part of the family. Welcome to the family. And whoever else is joining, we're welcoming you too. We're excited to have you along. Come along for our journey. We're excited to have you aboard. Hop on. Hop on. And comment below. What was the video where you discovered us? <laughs> awesome. Yeah. <laughs> you ready, huh? I'm ready. You ready? I'm ready. Let's roll up our sleeves. All right, Get ready wifey. for this new season. We love, love, love you, and we appreciate you. Thank you for sticking around if you made it this far in the video. <laughs> Onward ho. Onward ho. We hope you have a beautiful, beautiful and blessed day. day. Let go. Let God. Let's go. go.